remember the last time you had an encounter with a raccoon or a boa constrictor? Well, I can't. So uh, luckily there's the creature teachers who brings them closer to you with their mobile zoo. Um, Lisa, tell me, why did you start the business? Um, well, myself and my business partner, Tulewa, started the business about four years ago. We had worked with uh, animals pretty much our whole lives, working in zoos, wildlife parks. And we really wanted to provide a service where we could bring animals to people um, uh, in their own homes or in schools or nurseries where they could get really hands-on and up close uh, to the animals and provide a much more hands-on experience. So could you give us a concrete example of some place you're taking your mobile zoo? Um, we visit lots of different places. We go to schools. We visit um, quite a few retirement homes as well. That's one of our main clients. We visit nurseries. We do weddings. Our owl brings um, rings to uh, uh, the altar for weddings. We do all sorts of different things. We turn up in some very strange places. So, and for example, the retirement homes, how do those people react to all these wild animals? They absolutely love it. Um, the animals that we bring are all very friendly, um, so everyone can get really hands-on and up close to them. Um, as well as that, uh, the animals tend to bring back a lot of memories for people. Um, so in, in this country, in the UK, um, a lot of people would have hunted uh, with ferrets um, during the war period when there was a lot of rationing, just to provide um, more meat because the ferrets would, would hunt rabbits for them. Um, so when we bring our ferrets to these people, they, they tell us all about their life during the war. They'll tell us about some of the practices that they did. They'll tell us about hunting with ferrets. Um, when we bring tortoises, the same thing. A lot of people had them as pets. Um, so they, it, it just brings back a lot of, of memories. It gives a lot of stimulation. And sometimes people just like to have a little bit of a chat. They might not necessarily touch the animal, but they like to talk about it. Okay, very nice. Um, but most people respond kind of negative to people in ca to uh, animals in cages. Uh, people in cages as well. <laughs> <laughs> but animals in cages also has a, a negative response. How do you guys deal with that? Um, there does seem to be this idea that if an animal is in captivity, that they are suffering in some way. Um, that is not the case. All of our animals are captive bred. They're not taken from the wild. Um, and they have an absolutely wonderful lifestyle. We only choose animals that like to meet people. We're not going to bring an animal that's not comfortable around people to meet a person because it wouldn't be nice for the person, the animal, or for us. So we pick the animals based on their personalities um, and they really do enjoy interacting with people. And as I say, their life is amazing. They are like our family. We live with them, we work with them every day um, and they get the best, the best of everything. So just because an animal is in captivity, it's, it's not a bad thing at all, actually. Well, thank you very much for uh, making so many people happy with your mobile zoo. And if you guys at home want to see more, uh, check out the article below.